chopping down the competition. The Flex on Podcast, that with those draft profiles, provides the only place giving you that draft coverage how you want it. When you need it. Chopping the competition. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't commented. Subscribe. Hit the like button and all that good stuff. Check out all the draft profiles. Chop Robinson is the guy we're talking about today as we continue breaking down the edge rushers. Demian Robinson is his real name. Nicknamed Pork Chop. Came from his size at birth as he was 11 pounds shortened to Chop as he got older. So we got Kool Aid from his grandmother with a big smile. We got Chop from his size at birth to Pork Chop. Now Chop Robinson went to Penn State, transferred from Maryland, from Gaithersburg. Maryland, Cavante, as we talked about before we came on here, six foot three, 32 and a half inch arms, nine and one eighth inch hands, 254 pounds. He's a junior from Penn State, like I said, 44840, 10 yard split of 1.54, 34 and a half vertical, 10 8 broad jump, 20 yard shuttle, 4.25. 2021 in Maryland played at all 13 games, two sacks, 19 tackles, two and a half tackles for loss. 2022, he played in 12 games, 26 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, five and a half sacks. 2023, all 10 big conference, tied for the team lead with two forced fumbles, 10 games, 15 tackles, seven and a half tackles for loss, but four sacks, missed two games due to injury. And like I mentioned, got his name Chop, which was Pork Chop from a size of birth at 11 pounds and short to Chop as he got older. Full name is Dominion Robinson. Cavante, Chop Robinson. I, I, I mean, my gosh, it looked like he was, uh, he was destined for this this is god this is god given right here um did he clock in at a four uh what, what, what did he clock in as four four eight let me just double check that yep four four eight ten yard 1.54 20 yard 4.25 again yeah. we we have we have an, another guy edge rushes first step is crazy and he has speed to go behind it um so it I, I I can just see um uh quarterbacks trying to scramble and run away and him chasing them down with that uh four four um four four seven four four eight um speed my gosh again first step um is crazy um he embodies his nickname chop with boundless um energy and it impacts the game consistently as a three down player. Um, demonstrates exceptional bend and um, well, yeah, exceptional bend, um, just giving offensive tackles uh, a, a, a hard a hard way to go. Um, moves well, very moves very good laterally, and leverages his intense power and kinetic energy to execute polish and hand technique against off his alignment. So he uses his hands um, pretty well. Any weaknesses with Chop? Because only four and a half sacks. If you're that guy, come on, I think four and a half sacks is a little low. We've seen Michael Parsons reach the highs that he reached. But we also got a guy in Baltimore, Dante Owe, who's like getting four or five sacks a year, kind of didn't have any sacks in college, kind of underperforming as a going into his fifth year option I picked up. Is he closer to that? Is he closer to a Michael Parsons? Who does he compare to? Where does he go? Seems like a boomer bust pick, one of those boomer bust picks we have every year in the draft. Indeed, indeed. There's always a there's always a couple of these guys. And um it's funny because I compare him to excuse me, um one of his uh I'm I'm former teammates and um his former teammates and and running mates who plays for the Dallas Cowboys now and is wreaking havoc in the NFC in the NFC East. Um Michael Parsons. Um and I we you know what I'm not sure were, were they were they on the team at the same time? I'm or, not sure. I think they may have been let me double check. Because he, he transferred from Maryland in twenty one. So that means he played in he so played probably, he played, played his last year. He played his last year with them, I think. Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying, he was a reserve. Uh, he was a reserve. Okay, yeah. Well, obviously, because when Michael Parsons is on the field, <laughs> and pretty much everybody, everybody else is a uh, is a reserve. But um, I think he 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 resembles to me uh, him a lot. It's just the production, the production is not um, is not quite there. But I can see a defensive coordinator salivating and eating pork chops <laughs> for. For for this brother right here, because uh, 
he reminds me with his intensity and how he plays. He reminds me a lot of what Michael Parsons brings to the table. Um, as far as uh, as far as weaknesses, um, he doesn't have much of a um, rush portfolio. Um, it's pretty straight up. He pretty much does the same thing um, all the time, pretty often. Um, could show a little bit of some stiffness um, in his uh, in his in his uh, lower body. Um, hand fighting. Uh, little inconsistent you like to see more of it but also he's a little um he's 250 so um talking about linemen where some of the guys is 300 that's 300 plus pounds um hand fighting is going to be his absolute best friend because you do not want those those guys who would love to get their hands on you before you get the hands on them um he 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 much have much rather have the advantage by not uh, get if you call it, bring bring a hold, bring a hold, draw draw a holding a holding penalty would be his best bet. But get his hand, getting his hands on them and hand fighting would be uh, paramount for this brother. Where do you see him going? Do you see him as one of those guys who could fall to maybe a team with the uh, embarrassment of riches already at pass rusher, like a San Francisco maybe or Kansas City? I mean, the Baltimore Ravens might be there. I don't know if I want him. I'm, I don't like the boomer bus. We already did a Penn State linebacker. We saw that kind of played out for us. Um, I believe it will be towards the end of the um of the first round because, like you said, the boomer bus factor depends on how high you are um on uh on him. If you can see the Michael Parsons potential, hey, it might be worth um it may be worth taking a shot. So that but, might um, take it. <laughs> I think uh. Again, I say this all the time, especially in the, with with the position where they are, Miami and Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh, he could really flourish with all eyes on T.J. Watt, so he he will really be able to flourish. And Patrick and, Queen um, from the Ravens. Oh gosh, I I, I keep forgetting that because it sounds so crazy, it sounds so strange to say, but. Like I said, Steelers have always been pretty much star studded and star solid on the all, on the defensive side of the ball, and a guy like Chop Robinson, who's probably not going to—he's not as sought after like a uh, like a Dallas Turner, you know what I'm saying? So somebody can get him if he goes to a team that already has a solid defensive core. He can thrive. He has a great, great opportunity to thrive. Um, I don't think. Dallas would would um would take them because you're looking for someone who would compliment uh Michael Parsons, not necessarily the same type um a player. Again, the the Eagles are there. Um it'll be terrifying to see a team like Kansas City or uh San Francisco get them. Um and the Ravens. The Ravens could always use you can never have enough edge rushers. Trust me. Let me tell you, never, never, never have enough. Well, come on to any final things on Chuck Robinson. Final assessment on the young man from Maryland. Went to Penn State. Uh, never really had the big sack numbers, but has the physical traits. We see guys like this every year. I want to see what happens. Yeah, no, it's going to be really interesting to see. Um, to see, one, who picks him and how um, and how they utilize him. But we have another, another guy coming to the draft with a very cool nickname. And I hope it, hope it sticks with him. Throughout his throughout his NFL career, just like Chop Robinson, we're chopping down the competition. Devontae, continue with those draft profiles, giving you those draft profiles how you want it when you need it. Stay tuned for more on the Flex Zone podcast as we continue with those draft profiles. We'll be back with more. <laughs>